In this video lecture, I am going to discuss about how to prove that sin a minus b divided by sin a plus b equal to a square minus b square divided by c square. So let's see the answer. So here first I am going to take the LHS left hand side. So on the LHS here you can see sin a minus b divided by sin a plus b. So here you can also take the RHS. Now here let's uh, use the formula sin a minus b that is sin a into cos b minus cos a into sin b. Thereafter here for this one we can write sin a into cos b plus cos a into sin b. Thereafter here use the sine formula use the sine rule a divided by sine a equal to b divided by sine b next c divided by sine c equal to k k i assume you can also assume pqrst now a a uh, is divided by sine a make the relationship with k. So here we can write a divided by sin a equal to k or we can write a equal to k sin a. Here b divided by sin b equal to k. Now we can write b equal to k sin b. Okay and uh, this and that one we will use and here c divided by sin c equal to k now c equal to k sin c so here we have uh, sin a and sin b and cos a and cos b formula that we know so sin a so for sin a we can write if i put sin a here so we can write a by k so let's uh, write here now so for sin a we can write a so a and this k move on the term and write cos b minus for cos a no need to change right now sin b we can write sin b and here b by k the same thing sin a cos b cos a plus is there so we can write here a divided by k cos b plus cos a b divided by k now thereafter here k take the common 1 by k here cos b minus cos a and uh, 1 by k this is cos b plus cos a this cancel this cancel now here you can write cos b minus cos a and uh, there I am missing something so this place a is there with cos b and uh, cos a b is there here a here b so we can write a cos b minus b cos a divided by a cos b plus b cos a next is let's use the formula of cos b so here a cos b formula that i'm using a square plus c square minus b square divided by 2 a c b into a so cos a formula b a square plus c a square minus a square divided by 2 b c now here for this one write this all a into 
a square plus c square minus b square divided by 2ac plus b b square plus c square minus a square divided by 2bc so this is the formula you need to use so a cancel b cancel a cancel and b cancel so here to see that come and uh, here whatever the left that i'm going to write so a square plus c square minus b square to c minus b square c square minus a square divided by 2c and here a square c square minus b square 2c and uh, plus is there b square c square minus a square 2c now the next is here let's uh, take the common 2c and uh, here we can write a square plus c square minus b square and b square plus c square minus a square now here the same thing a square plus c square minus b square and here b square plus c square minus a square divided by 2c 2c cancel here b square b square cancel and uh, here a square also cancel so now here a square write that c square b square minus b square those this minus that are multiplying with this all minus b square minus c square and minus minus plus a square divide by c square plus c square c square c square that left so c square cancel and now a square plus a square that is 2 a square b square minus b square 2 b square here c square plus c square 2 c square 2 is the common here a square minus b square divided by 2 c square 2 to cancel now here you can get a square minus b square divided by c square so this finally i got that okay so a square minus b square divided by c square we need to get so here lhs equal to rhs it's approved so one time going to repeat so write the lh take the lhs you can also take the rhs now here sin a minus b divided by sin a plus b use the formula and thereafter sin rule is a divided by sin a and this all so a equal to k sin a sin a we can write a by k so sin and uh, sin b sin a sin b you should put the after that here you can see this k k can 1 by k 1 by k it come k, k k 1 by k cancel now here you can get a cos b minus b cos a a cos b plus b cos a next to uh, here cos a and uh, cos a and cos b formula you should put and after putting doing some calculation here you can get this one so this is the way we can here prove this question so i hope guys this video is helpful for you so now in this video it's over so thanks for watching see you next week thank you